All right. See, I don't know about these non-raised keys. That's, if anything, is what's going to throw me off. So I'm going to preface my, uh, my little test right there. So, here we go. because it doesn't hurt my feelings as much, but that's just because, I mean, the keys are a lot bigger and they're spaced a lot more like a regular notebook's keyboard, but again, the, the colons and the apostrophes and the quotes, that all screws me up, but I like the full-size backspace key. That is key there, but I think this one's my favorite just because it's a lot closer to normal size. I actually did worse on this than I did on the, on the EPC. Um, one would think with the uh, HP's uh, larger keyboard that uh, I would fare much better in the typing test, but it appears that I have an 11% error percentage, and that's up by 4% from the uh, EPC test. Um, I had a bit of trouble hitting uh, the shift button and the S. I kept getting them mixed up for some reason. But, uh, yeah, I actually fared better on the EPC for some reason. The keys were just not as tactile as I would like in terms of the force with which they come back to you, uh, with which they respond to you when you're hitting them. But, uh, overall, uh, this seems like uh, a pretty good keyboard, and I was I felt very comfortable with it right away. Well, I will say um, I was a little skeptical about the HP here because it doesn't really have the same raised keys as the other ones, although the pad is a little bigger, and I did almost as well, if not better, uh, than on the ThinkPad. I got 1% error here and I got 2% error on the ThinkPad. 53 words per minute here, it was 52 or 53 on the ThinkPad, which is ridiculous. I think it's because I don't consider myself a touch typist. I'll cheat and I'll look down at the keys um, every now and then in order to, uh, to get my fastest typing out of the way. So uh, overall, I mean, yeah, pretty useful, pretty, pretty good. I mean, I think it's because I'm used to looking at the keyboard anyways when I type. So uh, yeah, HP.